you could invent anything, if your education could look like anything, what would it look like? And we take them through a, a process, a three hour process, that starts with questions about what kind of place would do you like to learn in? What is, and a lot of kids say, you know, we like a place that's safe, a place that's colorful, a place that's quiet, a place that has music, a place that I can be comfy. And we lead them through this process that we unlock a lot of their uh, wisdom that they have deep inside about education, about learning, but yet no one's ever asked them, what do you want in your education? So our goal is to ask them first and then to take what they say and broadcast it out into the world, talk, share it with policymakers, share it with parents, share it with teachers. We want to use their voice as a way to change education. At the end of the process, they create a, a six by four huge painting that represents what a group of them think education should be like. This is a this is a painting of what they think a learning journey should be. This little uh, boat with the books represents knowledge for them. And, uh, and there's multiple books because there's multiple sources of knowledge, multiple ways to get there, and that's what lifts you up. This is what I, this is my favorite part of their painting. This part up here is the collective, the collective knowledge of the world and everybody. They don't, they don't see this journey as theirs alone. Everybody. These tentacles are coming down because you're constantly reaching down to get them, to get, to share that information. And this book is filled with amazing paintings of, that represent their ideal education system. So David, how many listening sessions uh, do you guys have lined up over the next year? So, so far we've done 20. Uh, from everywhere from New Zealand to Jackson, Mississippi, where was our last ones that we just did in November. But we have 35 communities that have asked us, please come to our community, come talk to our children. A lot, just the other day, a 15-year-old called us from Houston and said, please come to my school. I want you to come and do this with us, with my students. We, had, we just did this with a group in Jackson, Mississippi. They took what they learned in the listening sessions and have started a group in their school to start changing their school right now. So what we need from you guys and your help is to help fund the, that next 35 listening sessions. And our goal, after we've done all the listening sessions, is to take all their that data, all that learning that we've learned from their from their visions and create a huge exhibition in Washington, D.C., where we invite intergenerational, you know, everybody from young people to old people to policymakers to politicians and ask them to come and listen and have this go through this process and look at all the paintings because once you see the paintings it's hard not to see what's wrong with education and also it's hard not to see where we can go with education what's possible